what is up guys what better way to start off your morning with a good cup of coffee a good cup of coffee now why am I bringing this up well if you if you know this channel you know we're talking about outdoors outdoors coffee getting that good cup of coffee when you're camping today's video we are going to compare the stanley pour over coffee maker and the brew buddy pros and cons of each price and all that good stuff i'm going to give you all the lowdown on both of them and make your own choice i've already made up mine stick around guys it's gonna be a good one All right, let's get on down to business. A good cup of coffee. Now, as you know, you can get instant coffee. Real coffee drinkers don't drink instant coffee. But when you you know people feel that when you're when you're camping and stuff like that, to get a perfect cup of coffee is almost impossible. You know, there's the French presses out there. There's all kind of options. These are the two that I go with for different reasons. Um, I'm not a big coffee drinker, so it really don't matter to me. Yeah, I know people think I'm crazy, but that's just how it is. I'd be perfectly happy grabbing me a, a monster coffee mean bean, pouring it in a cup, heating it up, and that's good enough for me. Or drinking a cold. I'm fine. Whatever. But let's talk coffee. Let's get down to it and let's start the comparison. First, we're going to do price. The Stanley Brew Buddy, just this piece by itself, is $23 for this. Now, you can get the combo that comes with the mug and all that. It's like $36. Bucks. But just the pour over coffee maker is $23. And it does come in a couple of different colors. the brew buddy nine dollars and sixty three cent for two six ninety nine each for one okay brew buddy wins in price okay packability I, I, I'm gonna have to explain it because there's gonna be somebody out there's got a problem with it that's broke down right there now that come that comes out so that you you know for cleaning but that is packed down that's it that's as small as it gets there's a brew buddy <laughs> it literally fits in most cups who wins packability I'm not going to say it but just so you know. All right. Convenience. They're both convenient. You get a fresh cup of coffee. They're convenient. They both win. Fresh cup of coffee. You use regular coffee like you would with your coffee maker at home. You just put it in here, filter the water over it, through it, and you got a cup of coffee. So they're both convenient. Ding, ding. They both win ease of use this is where it gets different okay allow me to partially demonstrate we're gonna pretend that this is our cup okay you put your well we're gonna try to pretend that might work okay you put your Stanley pour over on top of your cup, put your coffee grounds inside, fill it up with water, and let it drip. That's it. Come back when it's done, you got a fresh cup of coffee. Take it off, enjoy your coffee. That, that's ease of you. That's pretty dang easy right there. This one here is a little different. 
filter goes down in your cup. You put your coffee grounds inside here. Then you have to stand there and slowly pour your water through the coffee, through the filter, to get that cup of coffee. So you're basically doing the job of the coffee pot where you're just sitting there slowly doing it. And this can this can make a mess. You pour too fast, it comes up, it flows up. I've been there, done that, guys. Been there, done that. But you still get a fresh cup of coffee. You take this out, and you can let it sit there and steep with the filter inside the coffee, and let it steep, and you know for that little stronger taste if you like. However, whatever. It's up to you. And let's see coffee grounds I have noticed I've used this one many times and I've used this one a couple times I have noticed I get less coffee grounds using the Stanley than I do the brew buddy uh, they're really fine mesh both of them are but for some reason some reason I just get less coffee grounds with the Stanley then I do the brew buddy. Easy, easy to clean. Both of them are really easy to clean. This one you just pull the filter out, clean it out, rinse this out. You're done. The brew buddy, you flip it over, you push it through, rinse it out, you're done. What I normally do with the brew buddy is I'll push it, I'll push it through like this. I'll shake all the coffee off and then I'll let it dry because you know coffee coffee grounds when they're dry are a lot easier to get off than when they're wet. Once they're dry I'll shake the rest of them off and give it a good rinsing, good cleaning and we're done. Both of them are excellent when it comes to ease of use and cleaning. Again it's just it, all this comes down to is personal preference guys. Um, like I said, packability, big difference, price, big difference, totally up to you. Uh, now the most important question of the day, which one do I prefer? I prefer the Stanley. I'm not into backpacking, camping. I bought this originally because it was packable and I was doing that kind of overnighters and stuff like that you know the smaller the you know fits in your pack you know emergency situations and everything which this is great but you know when I woke up and realized that I'm just too fat for that kind of camping that I believe in comfort now this is for me guys like I said they both work great they're both excellent for a good cup of coffee. Price-wise packability. I do believe this one will last a little bit longer than this one. But I, I prefer this over this, but they're both great. I will put an Amazon link in the description to both of these. So you can, you know, if you want, go check one of them out. Check both of them out. It's totally up to you. And... Uh, yeah, that's really it, guys. Um, to me, the Stanley wins out just because of my personal opinion, the ease of use. I can pour the water in there. I can walk off and I can fix my breakfast and everything. By the time I'm done with breakfast, you know, got my breakfast, my eggs, bacon and everything cooked, my cup of coffee is ready to go. This, I got to stand there and hold the water and do it. Here's what it is. Hope you enjoyed this, guys. I had to bring y'all something today. I got the grandkids all week long, and I am not getting a chance to do anything. It has been crazy. But I figured I'd bring y'all this one. The Stanley Pour Over short video has been getting a lot of views lately. So this is like a, this is almost like an update. You know, let you know what's going on with it. and You know what, how I actually, how much I like it since you've seen the short. So hope you enjoy this video.
as much. Do me a favor, go ahead, like and subscribe, please, guys. We are so close to a thousand. We are, we are so close. I think I'm sitting at 982, guys. I, I know you guys can do it for me. Uh, I know you can do it. Please do it. Please do it. I'm so jacked, so pumped. Uh, download it, share it. Check us out on Facebook, the Sweet Outdoors. Go ahead, click that notification button. That way you're notified when I do bring you some videos. Uh, that's really all I got. I'm going to try to get you something else this week. Um, don't know what. I got some more MREs we can check out. Let me know what you think. Be safe. God bless. Get outside, people. I'm fixing to go back in the house. It is 95 degrees out here. It's hot. Peace.